Hello and welcome to this video series on Composer. Now in this video we're just going to go ahead and introduce you to some of the bits and pieces of the interface or the Composer software. So let's go ahead and take a quick walkthrough, shall we? Now after you've downloaded, unzipped, and basically kind of sort of installed, <laughs> moving over that in an earlier video, but kind of sort of installed your software and open it up, this is what we're going to be looking at. Now if you're any at all familiar with NVU or NVU as it's also called, then this is not going to be totally foreign to you. Um, if you have never seen NVU but you're somewhat familiar with some word processing programs, then some of this is going to look pretty familiar. But for the most part, bear with me, I'm going to go ahead and try to tackle as much of this as possible just to make sure we're all on the same page. Now over here on the far left we have the Site Manager. We're going to get into this at a later point whenever we discuss the publishing aspect of Composer. This and this character right here. They pretty much go hand in hand. Now then, on the right, this is our composition area, and this is basically where all the work is going to be done. And down at the bottom on these tabs, we have the various types of views. The normal view, the tag view, the source view, and the preview. So this here is supposed to be what it looks like on a typical browser once it's been uploaded to the internet. Um, but basically, the preview will give you a better idea as to what it's actually going to look like once it's been published. And then moving along, up here at the top we have our menu bar. And one thing I wanted to point out, you'll probably see this, you know, and, and not be too scared away because it looks pretty familiar, and, and as it should be. But under the view, if you go here and then go to show hide, you can see those that are ticked are the toolbars right here. And I just like to have all mine showing. Um, but down here, the site manager. That's this guy over here to the right. So if you want to get rid of them to give you more room, uh, more workspace on your composition area, then that's how you can do that. Of course, you can also just hit this X right here. That will tackle the same thing. Now then, once you get a bunch of tabs open here, then we'll discuss later on how, how the default settings are, are related to the multiple tab openings. But uh, if you want to, let's say you got three or four tabs here, but you're done with this particular page, you can hit this red X here and it will close the page, the active page, the page that you are on at the time. It will leave open or it will leave alone all the other tabs that you have available here. So that's what this red X here will do for you. And let me pull up some of these other guys again, composition and format toolbar. Now then, these two guys here, if again, if you're any at all familiar with word processing programs, then these are not foreign at all. These will show you the body text. Uh, we have no class set up just yet. And this will be dealing a lot with the CSS or the cascading style sheets, which we'll be getting into in a couple of videos here down the line. And some of this is just some of the basic formatting when it comes to the text of our uh, documents. Now then, up here, have some more of our uh, composition bar, and a lot of these look pretty familiar. You know, you got your little uh, diskette here, which is where you use to save your file and, and so on. So a lot of this stuff is pretty obvious. One thing I do want to point out, though, is that on the open space over here on these toolbars, if you right-click, you get this option where you can customize a toolbar. And then you left-click on that, and it brings up this page here, where you can just simply, uh, let's say you want to have this option available on that particular toolbar. You can see the little square that opens up there. See where it goes away now? Then on this bar. So these two bars here, you can have these. You just left hold and drag. And it can be brought to that bar or to the lower bar in either case. Or you click on this one here to restore to default and it takes them away. Now in this one here, of course, you got these other options as well. This top bar, or composition bar, is a little bit different because it has different options. You can right click on this, left click on customize toolbar. As you can see, you have a couple of different options here. 
Now then, one, the show icons down here versus icons and text. Yeah, it really sucks up a lot of room there. Well, if you just go to the icons, then you get a lot of room saved. And you can save even more room if you pull these spacers down out of the way. Of course, it kind of squishes things together there. But uh, since I am no speller whatsoever, I like to have my spell check available for me. And want a horizontal line? Let's get a horizontal line stuck up there too. Now then, if for some reason you just, you know, don't need that stuff anymore, you can always go back to restore default set. And there you have it. Put the spaces back in there and everything. And add our text along with that. So that's pretty much it, folks, as far as a quick introduction to the interface of Composer. Now, and I hope you stick around for some of the upcoming videos. I'm, I'm excited, and I've already made the video, so I can't wait to show you. Thank you much for watching, and you have a great day. To watch the next part of this video, go to the audiobookwholesaler.com. You'll find the videos under the training videos link. This is just one of several series available in our free video section.